Okay, so I've just come off a seven day trial of Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. And I just wanted to talk to you about my experiences coming from Affinity Photo, because I've been using Affinity Photo for a number of years now. When <coughs> Photoshop introduced its subscription-based kind of pricing, that's when I moved from Photoshop to Affinity Photo. Now I started off my whole photography hobby using Photoshop. But when 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 they changed the charging, the the, the monetization method is when I is when I left. So I decided to give it a go again. Bear in mind I've used Photoshop before and I have to say I was probably very good at it. But having used Affinity Photo now for a few years, I ended up cancelling my Photoshop and Lightroom contract after the seven day trial period and I'll try to explain why now. I first have to talk about the raw processing. Now I used Lightroom for seven days and I do find that the processing in Lightroom itself resulted in better looking pictures. And not only that, but it was a lot easier. So on the right hand side of Lightroom, you have all of these adjustments and controls and they are presented in a very logical order. You kind of start from the top and you go down and you get all of your, all of your corrections made. So in the first basics, you get all of the exposure and so on and then you start to do your color corrections and adjustments and so on. It all makes logical sense and by following that process you do end up with better looking photos. Like you can do the same in Affinity Photo but I don't think it's as straightforward. So for me it was much quicker to get a result that I liked using Lightroom than Affinity Photo. So now that we have that out of the way let's talk about what I didn't like about it. And the first was the user interface. <clears throat> I just find that the user interface in Affinity Photo is a lot more modern, a lot more streamlined, and it's easy on the eyes when doing editing. Let's take, for example, the, the adjustments. In Affinity, you have this nice, like, pictographic representation of the adjustment, and they're all, in a, they're all arranged in a column, and there's an icon, and there's text telling you what it does. In... Photoshop, you just have this grid of tiny icons. And I mean, I remember using this way back in like the early 2000s, even the late 90s when I first started playing with Photoshop and that hasn't changed at all and that was very disappointing. The next issue I have is you need two different programs to do your editing using Adobe. You need Lightroom to process the raw and then you need Photoshop to do anything else. Now, okay, I admit, Lightroom is actually quite encompassing. Nearly everything you need is in there. You probably won't ever have to go to Photoshop. So that is a good thing. However, Lightroom is available as a plugin for Photoshop, but it works a little bit differently. Whereas if you just use Lightroom, so you import your photos, you process it and you go back to it, what you've done, the changes you've made are still there. So you can then go and make further changes. But if you import it into Photoshop, First of all, you use a plugin and then you send that picture back to Photoshop. That's it. You can't do any more adjustments on the raw file. It just that that's it. If you if you made a mistake, like if you didn't increase the highlights enough or increase the shadows enough, for example, that's it. You have to start all over again. And that is kind of disappointing for me. Also, I don't always shoot raw, I shoot JPEG sometimes. And if you want to do any like use any presets, you import it into Photoshop, but then if you use the Adobe Raw plugin in Photoshop, I didn't seem to have access to my presets that I made myself. So I couldn't do any preset work using JPEGs, only RAWs. So this whole two different program thing, one is a plugin for another, is just a little bit confusing for me and I think it's a bit unnecessary as well. I know you can buy Lightroom and Photoshop separately, like there are plans for that, and if that's the reason that they split like this, I don't think that's a very good reason at all. Now, in my early days of photography, I used Photoshop. I never used Lightroom and that was always enough for me. I could do all, adjust all of the adjustments I wanted in Photoshop alone. Now that the raw processing in, in Lightroom is, is this good, I've tried to use Lightroom for the first time. Now, maybe it's because I'm old, I can't get my head around having my files on my hard drive and then having to import files into a program 
before I can work on it. Like my files are already on my hard drive, right? I know I had the 20 gigabyte subscription for Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. And that might be enough for a lot of people, but I have about six or seven terabytes worth of photos, which I go to randomly. Sometimes I go back in the past to find a picture I took a long time ago and edit it. And I have to like import each one, each like each folder one by one into Lightroom. I can't just go, in, go to my hard drive, select a photo and drag it in. It doesn't work that way. And that is super annoying. In Affinity, I can just drag whatever file I want to work on from my Windows Explorer into Affinity and just start working on it. If it's a RAW, it opens the RAW editor. If it's a JPEG, it opens the normal editor. So maybe it's because I've never used Lightroom before and I'll be the first to admit I, I it's all probably my fault. Okay, I'm probably just, I probably just don't know what I'm doing, but I can't really get my head around it. And to me, it interrupts my workflow instead of helping it out. Now, lastly, I wanna get onto the pricing and the contract. Now, I took a seven day trial just to see how it was. And to be honest, seven days is not enough for me to be confident enough with Photoshop and Lightroom to plunge for a one year subscription, right? One year is the minimum amount of time you can subscribe for. And in the UK, that's like a hundred and something pounds, right? So I'm glad they have a trial at all, but it's just not long enough. If I'm gonna spend that amount of money, I need to be fairly confident that I'm gonna use this software for a year. Now, Affinity Photo 2 is, was it 59 pounds? It's half as much as the commitment for Photoshop and Lightroom. And that I can probably mess around with and play with. And you know, if I don't like it, I haven't lost as much, but continuing to have to pay for a contract for a piece of software that I end up not being happy with is, is a bit too much to ask for me. And I just, I just can't do it. Maybe if they gave me a 30 day contract and had enough time to master the workflow, it might've been a different story. But as it is, I had to cancel. I canceled the last minute, like with one hour of my trial left because I really wanted to give it as much of a chance as possible. So that's it for me. I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with Affinity Photo for now. Um, I will probably be buying version two because I've been using, using version one for a few years now. And I don't know, something will happen again and I'll give Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop another try. Maybe they'll offer another trial, I don't know. But until then, I'm gonna stick with Affinity. Okay, thanks, like and subscribe. Cheers, bye.